Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan and what you're looking at here is our fireplace that is going through a much needed refresh. I've been adding this stone veneer which is looking good, but now it's time to build a new mantle. So let's head on out to the shop and see what we have going on out there. I'm going to build the mantle using this 12 foot long 4x6 cedar timber. I'll start by breaking it down into three pieces, and there are a couple of large knots I want to work around, which leaves not a lot of room for error. Now you'll notice one of my cuts is even at 45 degrees already, and this is just so I can remove the bad spot, but still have enough length to work with. Now over at the planer, I'm just taking very light passes while flipping a piece over each time. There really isn't any twist or bow in these timbers, so this skip planing method works just fine, as I only want to remove the rough surface. My goal is to keep as much thickness as possible. I'm sending through the one off cut first, and then running the pieces end to end, and then finishing off with the off cut again at the end in order to prevent any snipe. And after a number of passes on each side, the surfaces are looking nice and clean. Now let's briefly talk about how this mantle will be mounted. I did not want any fasteners to be showing, so what I'm going to do is cut a channel in the back of each piece that will contain a French cleat system on each side. This will allow me to fully assemble the mantle and then slide it into place. The front section will just have some blocking to rest on. Uh, another advantage of this system is that I could, in theory, slide the mantle back out to refinish or replace it in the future if needed. I'll make the cleats using this leftover oak plywood I've had hanging around. I'll cut five strips, four for the cleats and one for the blocking at the front. A quick jump over to the miter saw and I'll cut them to length and then we'll jump back to the table saw and I'll add the 45 degree angles to the long side pieces. Here I'm nesting the opposing angles to get the overall width I'll need for the channel and the mantle pieces. I'll add just a little bit, maybe an eighth inch, just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room. I've now switched over to the dado stack and I'll start making passes to create the channel. I'll run one side through and then flip the piece around and do the other side. After each piece is done, I'll move the fence over and repeat the process until the, all the material is removed. And here you can see how this system is going to work. One cleat will be attached to the mantle and the opposing angle will be attached to the fireplace. Then the mantle can slide right on. I'll attach the cleats by first creating a counter bore for the head of the screw and then pre-drilling the cleat and the mantle. I used two and a half inch Spax cabinet screws for this application. I repeated the same process for the cleats that attach to the fireplace. With the cleat system installed, I marked and cut the final 45 degree miters on the parts. This was probably the most stressful part of the build, but I have to say this Makita saw worked excellent. You'll see in just a minute that the miters were basically perfect. Now to add a little bit of strength to the joint and help with alignment, I'm using my Jessam doweling jig to add five 3 8 inch dowels to each miter. I marked the center line for the jig and then drilled out all five holes. I repeated the process on the other side. Now if you do any dowel joints, do yourself a favor and add a slight taper to the end of the dowels. They are way easier to insert this way, especially during a stressful glue up. I glued the dowels in one side and let them dry for about 30 minutes and then proceeded with the glue up. Probably went a little overboard with the glue here, but being end grain I figured a lot would get soaked up and so having some extra in there isn't going to hurt. Now I'll align the pieces and get the clamp across the joint to squeeze it tight 
I made these clamping jigs a few years ago and they work perfect for this project. If you're interested in how I made them, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a video on how I made them. With the glue dry overnight, I sanded everything to 220 grits and here I'm adding a round over to all the edges. Now I have one last fix. Somehow during this process I managed to clamp this piece down on top of something and made a nice dent in the surface. So I'm going to try a technique I've seen here on YouTube a few times and that is to use a hot iron, a wet rag, and steam to try to expand the wood fibers and bring that dent out. And just a bit of sanding later and you basically can't tell it happened. Very cool. Now unfortunately after I had the mantle installed I ended up dropping a piece of the stone veneer on it and making a much worse dent, but oh well. To finish up I added three coats of boiled linseed oil for the finish. Now I didn't get a video of the install but the cleat system worked just how I'd hoped. It was a pretty snug fit due to some irregularities in the wall, but with a bit of work it could still be removed if needed, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Well, as always, thanks for following along on this build. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. We'll see you on the next project.